good morning friend this is a spectronic 20 plus spectrophotometer which i got from ebay this is a used unit and i i got it for around 50 dollars and i tested it it is working it has uh, two filters here for uh, blue and uv region and then red and near infrared region it has uh, another filter it has a wavelength knob here here this wavelength you can set wavelength within five nanometers and this is where you put your sample in this uh, cover of the sample holder was broken which I fixed with tapes and some, some tapes and some glue and, and this is the readout here here you can read the absorption or uh, the percentage transmittance uh, I'm sure there are several videos which uh, which demonstrates how how to use the spectronic 20 plus spectrum spectrophotometer and its application but what I'm going to show you in this video is that it is how simple it is to convert this analog readout here to a digital uh, reading using Arduino and processing software. If you look under the Spectronic 20 spectrophotometer, you can see that there are some analog outputs. And so these are the two pins which I have connected here. This is the ground and this is the analog output and corresponding to 0 to 100 percent transmittance voltage on this output will go from 0 volt to 1 volt so now it will be a simple matter of reading these voltages and displaying on on a processing software i'll show you how to do that so these are the two wires which are coming from the bottom connector on spectrophotometer and now these two wires I'm connected to my Arduino Nano board. One of them, one of these wires is going to the ground pin and ground pin here. And another wire is going to the analog input channel zero. Now next step is to program this Arduino Nano to send the analog readings over serial channel and then uh, we are going to program processing environment for reading and displaying those analog readings so Arduino code for this program is very very simple I just declare my variables here uh, there is some there is sensor value then there is an integer i and n only important thing to notice here is that I have used the analog reference as internal which gives an uh, internal 1.1 volt reference in, in the boards which have Arch Mega 328 uh, microcontroller and advantage by using uh, this internal 1.1 volt reference is that we can get a better resolution than, than our equipment readout because there are 100 readings on the equipment readout that means we can read the percentage trans, uh, transmittance with the accuracy of 1% but if we digitize it and use it with a, a Arduino board with internal 1.1 volt reference uh, what we are doing is uh, uh, the, the 1 volt is spread across uh, 10 bits so that means we can uh, get an accuracy of 0.1 percent so that's why this internal reference is is used here in order to understand how it works if you have still not not understood it i am giving a link to my previous video where i have i have explained how we can how we can increase the resolution of uh, uh, arduino adc by using internal voltage reference then there is loop i i'm reading uh, the voltage is thousand times averaging them and then sending them over to computer so next i'm going to show the processing code so here is the processing code uh, i'm declaring some variables up here 
and just like Arduino code we have a void setup and void draw in place of void loop uh, in the setup I'm just setting background to to black uh, to white and, and size of my window and then here uh, I, I used COM3 so you have to make a change in this code and, and put the uh, port name on which you have connected your Arduino then here is the the phone time using here and I will scroll down then I, I'm I'm drawing it and I'm reading my data and just printing this data the important bit here is uh, uh, how do we read data from our uh, data coming from Arduino and then convert it into numbers here so read string until there is a new line then you have to read data just before the new line start and then you have to convert the value in, in the data using this float function so the string the data is coming in the form of string you have to convert that string into float and then uh, you have to convert that reading into the percentage transmittance as you can see here uh, this is what I found experimentally uh, on my Arduino board when I set internal reference voltage as 1.1 volt this is not exactly 1.1 volt but it is 1.086 volt and then I also found that when Spectronic 20 uh, is having 100% transmittance it is not giving exactly 1 volt at the output it is giving 1.024 uh, let's see how how it looks when when it works it is closed and i can change here and set it to zero next i have to put my blank into it and now i have to set 100 percent It's slightly tricky to set it 100%, but with little practice, it is possible to do. So, now next step is to put our blank, to put our sample in, put our sample in here, and we can measure the absolute percentage of transmittance.